So what you're looking at here is a manual transmission built entirely of Lego. You got the primary gearbox up front, input shaft. You got the gear selector back here. That's the stick for the gear selector. The output shaft out here. And then back here, we have a somewhat open differential. It's not entirely open because I'm not entirely sure how I would do that. But anyway, it is a four speed with reverse. As you can see, there are four separate positions you can move this thing to. It's totally unsynchronized, of course, so like it's not easy to get into a couple of the gears, but anyway, let's get a movement thing going on here. So what I've got going here is two battery packs with three batteries each, 1.5 volts, give or take some, probably only 1.3 actually because they're rechargeable that I've got in here. For a total of around 4 to 4.5 volts, we'll just say that. And then that's wired up. These two packs are wired in parallel with each other, so no voltage increase, but hopefully it'll give the motor a little bit more power to go. And then that's wired in the back of the switch, and then the switch goes out to this little motor here, which is a servo motor with some sort of flywheel in it, I think, as opposed to this one, which is just straight motor to output. This one, I think, might have a better chance of actually running this transmission because the high gear is such a huge, drastic ratio change. I don't think the regular motor would be able to handle it, but here we go. We're going to see. Right now, the transmission is in first gear. This is a four-speed standard with reverse and overdrive. So, we're in first gear right now. Differential is spinning the proper direction. And you notice... I can stop one side and it'll keep going, but if I try to stop this side, it'll stop the whole thing. So, yeah, it's not a true open differential, but it's close enough for functionality right now. <laughs> so we'll go from first to second gear. Going a little bit faster now. Second to third gear, which is the only ratio I actually know. This is a one-to-one -one ratio. So, the output shaft of the transmission is spinning the exact same speed as the input shaft. And now we will go for our final gear. And, no, it is not powerful enough to run. Because the, <laughs> the gear ratio is so huge in that gear. It's major overdrive right there. So... This motor can't do it. Probably if I disconnect the output, it would do it alright, but then you wouldn't really be able to see very well. Yeah. So we got third gear and overdrive. Yeah, it runs it now. You can see that sucker is going nuts back there. Yeah. So there's that. There's my standard transmission, second, first, and then we have reverse as well, like I mentioned. I need to hook the, hook the deal back up so we can see that. Go to neutral. There is no actual neutral, so I just stick it between the ears. <laughs> and it goes, and it barks at me. Okay, so we got third gear. Second gear, first gear, and then we'll go to reverse. And it's a super, super reduced reverse. Because <laughs> if you look at it here, the front actually has a gear reduction of its own. That's a mid sized gear, that's a full size gear. So that's how I get my one to one ratio as well. There we go. Because this input shaft is a medium, this one's a medium, and that's a big, and that's a big. So they're 
all spinning at the same rate. So there we go. There's my Lego standard transmission with four speeds, reverse, and overdrive.